How's it going guys? Today we're going to be doing a day in the life of a vendor. We're going to be going to our bowling alley claw machine, our mall claw machine and winner's cube and we're going to the sandwich shop and we're probably going to be going and doing some golfing so we're going to show you guys what it's like to live a day in the life of a vendor and collecting some money so stay tuned for that. First we got to go get the prizes to fill up that bowling alley claw machine so let's go. All right so we have our plushy room taking up the entire basement. So we're going to be filling the bowling alley claw machine, which doesn't have any licensed plushies pretty much at all. And then we're going to be throwing some in the cl the claw machine in the mall. These are Mario's. They're like cool Mario's probably from that movie or whatever. So we're going to be doing probably five of those for the bowling alley. It's completely empty. So we're going to be doing a lot of these 12 inch candy plushies. And then we're going to be doing some Mario a couple Mario's and then we do have a lot of Spongebob stuff. Okay, so let's get headed off to the bowling alley to fill all those up. Look at this fool. Let's see. And in we go. Definitely need it. Oh my God, it looks so bad. <clears throat> Candy in there for a good base layer. We'll be taking out a little bit of the generics. Just cause. Okay. Dude, that looks so good. Oh yeah. my gosh. Dude. Okay, so we did about 15 plushies, maybe 10. So this is about 25 days, maybe a month. So that's about maybe 15, 20 dollars in quarters. And let's see how much cash is for the month. Nice stack in there. Alrighty, so let me count this out. Two, three, four, five, 50, 51, 52. 102. 102 in cash and about 20. So. And quarter so we did about hundred and twenty dollars for the month at this claw machine with generic plushies I wonder I really 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 wonder how good it's gonna do with these like this Mario guy is really good looking look at that stack we'll do a little fan here right in front of, right in front of the claw machine that's how he does it oh. see that red flag that's where I went right there that yeah, right <laughs> all the way over there Oh. Yeah. Grounder, but you know. Oh, that, okay. I hit the bottom of that, I don't know, 20 feet. <laughs> I'm not good at regular. Damn. I don't even know where it went. Banger. You see it? No. All right, so we just arrived at the sandwich shop. We're gonna go collect the money and uh, fix the changer. Oh, yeah. Changer is currently out of uh, service right now. Yeah, you know what that means. Losing out on money. Looks like it's been somewhat played through. There's a card hiding under there right there. Let's see how much money it made. And just what I thought. So that light is off. Take a look at what's wrong here. So. Yeah, that's a see what see what it made here. That's pretty bad uh, for being out for a few days. Two week collection. Five. Good. Five. Five. Give me a big one. Ten. And a twenty. So it's still this is a perfect example. So if the the quarters have not got built up yet. So where the quarters are all, there's not enough to be able to fall into there. About five, six, seven bucks for two weeks. And very similar. So that was a pretty rough collection. So I think this is probably the last straw. I think we're probably gonna pull out of this location. 
uh, move that stuff somewhere else. This was uh, our third location. Yeah, our third location that we ever got into. We are still very new, and we got that location. But that being said, we are now going to go to the mall. We're probably going to play a little bit in the arcade there, and we are going to service the two machines that we have in there. So yeah, let's let's get over there. Oh, we're getting a kiosk right next to us. I wonder if that'll drive more traffic. So someone won a Mario box. What was in the middle there? It's empty. That was a Mario box. Oh. Taking a couple out as well. It's a little too full, I think. That looks really good. Now it's time to get inside of here. Well, I need to get some mystery boxes out. All right, guys, so this is about a week and a half of cash. It's all piled up, wow. Five. Looking good. This is our new setup for the NIAX reader. Spend 20, get 10 free plays. So we're, we got $3 for three plays, $5 for six plays, $10 for 13 plays, and $20 for 30 plays. So that's kind of the setup going right now, and it looks like it's all working good. If I click that, yep, working good. Coin Mac is not jammed. Looking good. Now let's change the settings. So let's take a peek at the quarters as well. So a little bit of wear and tear already on the graphic just because that lock is hanging there. About $15. Looking good. We're definitely gonna be doing a collection here. So I think um, I'll run this past you guys as viewers first, but I think on, uh, so on Saturday morning, I think we would collect her in the claw machine and then we would come back after Saturday and we would show you guys exactly how much it makes in 24 hours. How do you think that looks guys? Is that better than when we came? I think people like those mystery boxes a little bit more, so. Yeah, let's lock it up, take a step back, make sure everything looks good. But we're gonna go over to our other low, our other machine in the mall. So let's start heading over there. So what do you think of the collection so far? Or the the day in the life? Is it a fun day to be in? Um, I don't know, do you go golfing every day in yeah. your life? Do, do you get to go service machines, <laughs> go golfing, drive around, we're gonna go get McDonald's? Yeah, we'll get some Sundays, you know, hot fudge. I wanted to ask you about this. What would you think if we did a seven foot tall gumball machine in this mall? Seven foot? Yeah, like the, 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 the ones one. that are on quick play. Huh. We do it at the main <laughs> entrance of two malls owned by this company. You know, I think they would actually do pretty good. Um, 50 cents per gumball. Yeah, hey, but you gotta do it. Two, you know, two dollars worth? We give them an extra gumball. Actually, I think we should probably, what do, you, what do you think? We should go in the arcade before we go to the winner's cube? <laughs> yeah, let's stop in the arcade. Let's yeah, uh, we always love the arcade. waste some money. <gasps> he put in a prize hub. Would you look at that? It's a Baytech. It looks used, very used. It's not even set up yet. Oh, that looks good. So he put in two of these uh, old, these older style pins. And one was like making a buzzing noise and this one's now turned off. I, th I thought it was a silly decision put these older pins in here. But let's see, oh, he's got Jaws, the new one. No one really likes that pin, but. That's a good looking pin, so scan that. There we go. So now it's got me on there. 7.5 to play this guy. Yeah, only 2.7 left. All right, ooh, look at those decals. Or the graphics, I mean. Oh, okay. Oh, there's an upper play field. I didn't even see that. Third flipper. This is a... I don't know what people are saying. I actually really like the layout. Oh, it held it for me. You want to take a try at the string cut? <laughs> See if you can win that PS5. Uh, Do you think you'll win it? Imagine. 
I think your best bet is probably generics if you're gonna win. <laughs> but those are always set a little easier. Oh, that's a good grab. Is it ready to pay out? No, it is not. Are they gonna consider our machine? Are they? He's looking at it, he's looking at it. Just kidding, he passed. That's the majority of people in the mall. Kind of a dead spot of the mall too. Down by Dick Sporting Goods. So, right here, also $3, $5, $10, $20. For this one we don't get bonus plays just because, uh, just the machine. But we're gonna be putting a claw machine back to back with this thing, so that'll definitely bring in more money. So look at that. It's mainly been credit card sales, and I think my dad just collected from this thing, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he did. So he came in here yesterday. Yeah. That's been the day of the life of uh, a vendor. So I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.